11.27 on Sunday. I don't think I've updated you guys at all today, but I've been a busy. So let's see. I clean the kitchen like I do every Sunday. Laundry like I do every Sunday. I also, um, I got a new video editing software so I can get back to book two. So you guys will actually see these fucking clips at some point. Some of All In by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I am now 49% of the way through, so I'm like halfway through that. So, um, I wanted to finish it tonight, but that's just not gonna happen, so I'll definitely finish it tomorrow though. And then, I don't know what audiobook I'm gonna listen to. I still haven't told you guys about, but I like had said, so that fanfic that I've been working on for like over two weeks now, I just finished it. I just wrote the last line and it's so satisfying because I've been putting it off and I'll sit here and I'll be like writing and then I'll just like I'll just be like eh, I can't do it and then I'll just exit out and then I'll still be thinking about it but I won't actually finish it and I don't know why I kept doing that but then finally then I was like nope I'm doing it I'm finishing it and then I sat here and I finished it and I'm like oh my god this is so satisfying so I still need to edit it before I post it on archive but it's like it's finished like I it, it's finished being written and I'm so happy Hey, I didn't update yesterday because yesterday was low-key a train wreck. I just could not get the energy for anything. Uh, and then when I did have energy, I ended up just editing. <laughs> so basically, I've fallen back into my old habits. <laughs> um, when I was like 13, I was super into like editing like fan videos and stuff kind of fallen back into that because fucking Teen Wolf has taken over my life apparently. I did do some tonight and I finished All In by Jennifer Lynn Barnes which is the third book in the natural series which it was really good and I like I was guessing some of the plot twists but then there was this one that happened and I was like oh shit and so that just kind of like kind of put me on a tailspin and I'm just like ah. Friday night and I am exhausted you guys so I'm about to go to sleep but I wanted to let you know I did listen to an audiobook of Car Children which is a book I haven't read in a really long time I think I read it back in like elementary school you guys but I remember I loved it I thought it was so 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 good right well i listened to the audiobook today and it was absolutely not good <laughs> like it was just very much told like and then they did this and then they did that and then and then and then and then it's basically it was more it was less of a story and more of just like a list of the things that they did so it's like very 
boring. A little bit of the Midnight Queen, because I read some on like one of my breaks, but I didn't get very far, you guys. I only am on page 60, oh, I'm on page 61, you guys. Tomorrow. Hey, so it is Saturday, and it's a little after four, and I have been reading for Dewey's 24-hour readathon, although not as much as I should have been because me and my friend Rachel were playing Animal Crossing together and she came to my island and then I went to hers and that was a really fun time. Finish Adaption by Melinda Lowe, which was the book I was buddy reading with my friend Kristen. I enjoyed it. There was a lot of crazy things that happened. It was just very much, and then this happened and then this happened, like, it was like, a ton of crazy things like every single chapter left off with something else insane happening so it was really quick to get through and you like kept wanting to read it because you're like okay what the fuck is gonna happen now because like just it kept getting crazier and crazier and crazier and then the ending is just like it just ends it doesn't even really have an ending it just like it just ends it just cuts off basically and then you have to go read the sequel so we're probably going to do that pretty soon. At that, I gave that 3 out of 5 stars. It was enjoyable, but it wasn't like the greatest thing I've ever read. Uh, I think the pacing was a little off. The writing wasn't super awesome, and yeah. I'm on page 109 of this, and we're finally to the point where we're like actually going to be starting the journey. We've been in like the same place the entire first part of the book, and it's been kind of slow because of where it starts out and like what's happening in the beginning but now we're about to go on a journey see you guys later finished reading the midnight queen just a minute ago um i actually went out earlier and like took a walk and like read on my walk which was really good because it was really good nights to get out of the apartment and my um apartment has like a walking trail but like a three out of five i think the next book will be a lot more interesting because i think they'll actually be at the college so I think that'll be a lot more fun because it'll be magic school and we love to see that. I'll talk to you later. It's Tuesday and it's 7.42. So I've read House of Salt and Sorrow and I also read Solitaire by Alice Oseman. Um, House of Salt and Sorrow is actually a book I got from NetGalley like a long time ago and I ended up getting the audiobook from Overdrive the other day so that I could finally like read it and review it so I'm about to post my review on the blog and then send my review off to NetGalley and do all the links and stuff and then the only other I only have two more books on my shelf on NetGalley to like do with. but I did really enjoy House of Salt and Sorrow I really liked um the subtle details and things like that but like i said I did a review for it so i'll leave that link down below if you're curious uh but then solitaire is the one i listened to today and i'm like really emotionally wrecked by this book you guys because it's just like i don't know it's kind of like alice doesn't like cut me open and like wrote about what she found inside or something i just really related to her main character and just kind of how she feels and everything and i don't know if that's part of what's put me in such a mood because i just feel really like nothing i guess the first chapter of blameless by gail character which is the last book that i need to read for my owls so i'll probably try to make some more progress with that tonight i would at least like to get maybe like a hundred pages in, although there's no way I can tell because I have that series, like I have the box set on my Kindle, so you can't really tell like where you're at in the, in one of the books, uh, except by chapters, so I guess I'll see. Maybe I can get to like chapter 15, I feel like that's a good goal, I don't know, I'll talk to you later. Hello, so it's Friday, it's actually morning time. Uh, I'm just getting ready for work and I realize I haven't updated you guys in a hot minute. It's been like since Wednesday, I don't know. Yesterday was kind of a, a, a day. It was a day. And instead of vlogging, I actually did a bunch of reading. So, I finished Blameless by Gail Character, finally. And I finished it in time to get it for the Magical Readathon. Yay, happy days that was the last book I had to read 
for the for Transfiguration because um, there's werewolves in it, so there's ship shifting happening. Listen to the audiobook of Dark Shores while I was at work yesterday, and I finished that, and it was amazing. Five out of five stars. Loved it. I just oh, I'm so obsessed. And thankfully, the sequel comes out in a few days. And I recommended that my library buy the audiobook. So I'm hoping they do that. And that since I recommended it, like they put you on the list of the holds if they buy it. So I'm hoping that means I'll get it pretty quickly because <laughs> um, there's a character that gets hurt, but by the end of the book, you don't know if they're okay or not. Like they're not mentioned since that happens. And I'm like, I need to know. I need to know if this character is okay or not. Like I am. And it's a side character, but I'm so fucking invested in them. So, that's fun. Bye bye. Sunday, it's five in the morning. I never went to sleep um, because I fell down the deepest and darkest of all TikTok holes that you could find yourself in. And granted, I don't get on TikTok very much. Usually I only get on there every like three or four days just to check if like any of my peeps are, if they posted a new video like Christina Snaps. I love watching her stuff because it's just funny, but like Normally I'm good and I just like watch a couple and I go away and I do other stuff, but I fell down the deepest hole in the entire world. I have a reading update, why not? Oh, I finished a whole ass book today. I read The Babysitter by Jack Harbin, which was a book that Riley Marie read for Smutathon in her Smutathon vlog recently. And I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty fun. It was pretty smutty. It was a good time. It's really short. It's only like, it's a novella basically, so it's super short. But it was interesting. It was gay. We love to see it. So yeah, I give it like 3 out of 5. Like, it wasn't anything special. I've read a lot of better shit in fanfiction. I started the poppy- er, sorry, it says praise for the poppy war on the back. I started the Dragon Republic today, but I didn't get very far. I am- mm, I don't know, I think I might be too tired to actually read right now, but I am 43 pages in. How's it going? Hey guys, I have not vlogged in a few days, if you couldn't tell. Uh, so, things have happened. There are some differences going on here. <laughs> yeah, so I dyed my hair. It, you can't really tell in this light, but I did dye it blue. The top part was supposed to be turquoise, but it didn't really turn out. I've been reading, and not tonight though, but I have been reading uh, The Dragon Republic. Oh, I did finish a book today though. I did finish The Tropic of the Serpents um, by Marie Brennan, which is the second of the Lady Trent memoirs, things about the dragon things. Anyway. That was a real good time. I liked it. I gave it 4 out of 5. I really enjoy those books just because they're fucking weird, but they're funny. And I love listening to the audiobooks because it's basically like Lady Trent is just telling you all the crazy shit that she did. And I'm just like, I really fuck hard with that. So that's a great good time. So now I don't feel as bad about what I've been doing with my time, which I'll get to in a minute. But for fir first, let me just update you guys on where we're at with the reading right now. So. Um, currently I am on page 124 of the Dragon Republic, so after I get done vlogging, I'm gonna try 
and get to page 200 tonight. I don't know if that's going to happen because it's already 1130. I need to go to bed for work, but at the same time, I'm feeling a little self-destructive. I might stay up until I get to page 200. We're going to see what happens. Count of Monte Cristo with my friends. So they're both ahead of me right now, but I am on, oh my God, I cannot get to this. Chapter eight. Yeah. The chapter numbers are in Roman numerals and those are hard. But it's chapter eight. Um and I think they're both on like twelve. So I need to get on this, but I'm probably not gonna read that tonight just because it's like dense AF and like I don't have the brain capacity for it tonight, I don't think, but I will try to get caught up tomorrow. I proceeded to sit in this spot and watch TikTok for like three hours. I, I don't even know you guys. I don't even know. I don't even know. Let's see. Watch. I pet him and then he's going to climb on me. He's going to do it. Watch. Shit happens every fucking time. You, you're gonna come on? I'm not holding this very steady, I'm sorry. I, yeah? Okay. He second guesses himself, that's really funny. You're gonna come on? You're gonna come on? Yeah? He's like not having it. I think maybe the camera is like psyching him out. He's like, what are you doing? Anyway, I'm gonna go and try to read. It's probably not gonna go very well. Hello. So it is. Whoa, it's only Wednesday, you guys. Okay, so it's Wednesday night, and it's like almost midnight. And I have read some more of The Count of Monte Cristo, which I am now on page 105, which is chapter 12. Uh, so that's where I am in that. I'm really enjoying it. I fucking hate Villa Fourth, Villa Court, Villa whatever the fuck, however you say. Villa Fourth, Fort, Villa Fort. Is that how you pronounce it? Fuck, like, I don't know. It's probably not. I need to look it up. But that guy, I don't like him. I hate him a lot, and he sucks ass. I already read a book today. I listened to the audiobook of Chainbreaker by Tara Sim at work today, which is the second book in the Timekeeper series. And you guys, you guys, I am in fucking love. So I read, um, or I, I, yeah, so like I said, I listened to that entire thing today and I was just obsessed and it le left off on this humongous cliffhanger. So immediately, as soon as I finished that audiobook, I went on overdrive and I checked out the audiobook of the third book, Firestarter, and immediately started it. And I got like halfway through that one, um, before I got off work. So I'll definitely be finishing Firestarter tomorrow and then, oh, let me just say that if it doesn't end happy, I'm literally crying for a fucking week. So there better be a fucking happy ending because I'm too invested. I cannot be dealing with this shit, you guys. Like, honestly, this is like the first time in a while that I've really felt like strong, like kind of the strong emotions I feel when I read fan fiction, but for like an actual published book. So that's a really great fun time, but I'm like, like super invested in these characters and I'm just like, if something goes wrong, I'm gonna be hella, p I mean, stuff has been going wrong, but I mean, if it doesn't end happy, I'm gonna be fucking angry. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hello. So, it is Thursday night, it's 9.05, and um, me and Seth got done watching the new episode of The Rookie just like a little bit ago and then I've been on TikTok. <laughs>
but not for very long. I've only been on there. I was only on there for like 20 minutes. So like, but I also listened to the audiobook of Chainbreaker, and then I also started the audiobook of Fire Starter as soon as I finished that one because it left off on a cliffhanger, and I was like, I have to know what's gonna happen right now. I got like halfway through it, and then today I finished it while I was at work. <sighs> Guys, I full on, full on sobbed for five minutes straight. Like, yeah. Fall asleep. I fell asleep last night, okay, because like I had a migraine, so I took medicine for it. And I passed the fuck out. So I'm on page 294 of the fucking Dragon Republic. I'm still reading this goddamn book. I've been reading it for a week, you guys. A week. And I'm so fucking annoyed. I just want to finish it. So I'm going to try to make as much progress as I can tonight. I'm going to read. I'll talk to you guys later. Hello. It is 11. Finished. The Dragon Republic! Finally! <laughs> Last night, I like, I hunkered down in my fort, which is where I am right now, and I read like 300 fucking pages and I finished! So, heck yeah! I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I was like really um, into all the things that were going on, and we learned something in it, and I was just like, I'm hoping that plays a factor in the next book because I want to know more. Like, a lot more, if possible. So we'll see, but I need to figure out what else I'm going to read today. But I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog off here so that I can go ahead and start getting this edited. But I didn't want to end it until I fucking finished this. So I just wanted to tell you that I finished it. It was amazing. And I loved it. And I just really love how, um very strategic this one is and like how you really get walked through um all the different campaigns and like the plans that they're doing and stuff like that it very reminds me of like Kaz Brecker like how he explains everything that he thinks of and how he comes up with his plans it's very Kaz it, it, I don't know it gives me that vibe so yeah really liked it finished it heck yeah and I'll see you guys in the next week's reading vlog.